joined by head coach Fred Harbinson, Fraser Rogers, for another edition of your cast and at V's views. And into the thick of it now, coach, uh, with the Vernon Vipers interior final. I think from the onset, no one to be surprised these two teams be tied 2-2 after four games. And I think the big thing for this club is getting home ice advantage back going into this now what is a best of three. Yeah, it, it was critical after you lose game one. Uh, you know, and all of a sudden they steal home ice from us. And, you know, you're going into, into Vernon, you know, clearly you'd love to win both games, but the, the number one goal was to get home ice back. We did that. Um, last game, we you know, we couldn't solve their goaltender, hit a post at the end of the first, uh, obviously one late in the game as well. But, uh, you know, I think for us, we just have to have a, a solid start. You know, as far as uh, the team that's scored first has won every game, we saw that quite a, quite a bit, I think six of the seven in the first, uh, our first round there. So, um, you know, get off on the right foot tomorrow night. You just talk about the starts. Is that just because it's so tough this time of year to play catch-up hockey? It is throughout this level, but when the thing's ranching it up this time when it's the final four. Yeah, everything's tight. Every inch of ice is tough to, to fight for. And, um, you know, we, we had a, gave up a tough goal early on a, on a weird bounce. And then, uh, you know, from there, uh, yeah, you're, you're playing uh, behind. And, then, you know, they capitalize on the next one. So, you know, the key is to try to keep the game as tight as possible as long as you can. And, and uh, when you get your opportunities, you have to make the best of them. Outside of one game at home, uh, against the Merritt Centennial. Some pretty good results in the playoffs, a lot of confidence. It's a plus 10 goal differential at home uh, for this team in the postseason. We talked about that home ice advantage. What do you need to do in game five to take advantage of playing at home and get this series lead back? Uh, we have to try to manage the puck a little better. Like, you know, in the offensive zone, actually both goalies are doing a fabulous job of, of moving pucks to the defenseman and make, making it difficult for the four check. So um, just trying to make sure that we can stay in our ozone time. Uh, which we've done in third periods a lot and, and in different portions of other games, but we just we need to try to be consistent through three periods on it. Talked about game four, and it's a bad pun to use, but you were a bit snake bit it seemed offensively, but is there a ton of adjustments that need to be made? Because it seemed like there was a lot of effort there from the club and a lot of positives despite to not scoring. Yeah, you got to be careful making too many changes. I mean, you know, we're 2-2 two -two in the series. Uh, both teams have scored the equal amount of goals. I mean, it's... What it, you know, I don't know what anybody thought was going to happen. It, was, it wasn't going to be a pushover either way. And, you know, the series is going to go either way. You know, the team that's going to make the fewer mistakes or, you know, maybe get a little puck luck here, here or there, the great goaltending, those are the three things that usually, you know, sort of balance everything out by the end of, the, by the end of a series. So it's, uh, you know, we're feeling good about it. It's a best of three now with the opportunity to play two of the games at home. Lastly, you look at uh, game five and game seven, you said being at home and, I guess the X factor as well could be the crowd. We saw some great crowds early on this series. We saw some great crowds down the stretch against Merritt, especially when the series is on the line in the game seven. It's time again to rally behind this team for a big game five. Yeah, and you know what? And the nice thing for our guys, they shouldn't, it shouldn't make them nervous because they're used to, like all year long, our crowds have been huge. So it's, there's really no reason to get uptight about it. Uh, you know, we just got to go play, play uh, the style of game that uh, is accustomed for, our, for us and what we're built for. And, um, you know, and I think, you know, we kind of challenge our guys. I think every guy in our room has maybe a little extra. Not that we haven't played well or given it our all, but everybody, when you sort of look into yourself a lot of times as, as people, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be an athlete. There's ways to find a little more out of yourself on a given day, and that's what we need tomorrow night. A little bit more for the V's and a little bit more from the crowd as well. Hopefully it's a big crowd this weekend. Game 5 Friday at the SWC. Make sure to wear your blue. For head coach Fred Harbinson, Fraser Rogers, this has been your V's Views on Castanet.